Everyone is anticipating what Nikon will release next after the unveiling of the Nikon Z8. Nikon Z63 and Z73 are now in production, as we previously said, but there are a few other projects that are still in the development phase. In this video, we'll talk about some new Nikon initiatives that have the potential to shake up the camera business. Early reports suggest that Nikon had decided to halt the development of digital SLRs and compact cameras. Nikon's final DSLR release was the impressive D6 back in 2020, which was replaced by the mirrorless flagship model Nikon Z9. And the K report disclosed Nikon's intention to discontinue DSLR development, although the company itself clarified that it's just mere speculation. Nonetheless, Considering the growing dominance of camera phones and or compact point and sort market, the cons retreat from this sector hardly comes as a shock. Now the recent exciting news is growing in the world of Nikon Z cameras with the expectation of upcoming releases. One interesting rumor suggests the arrival of the Nikon Z4 or full-frame mirrorless camera resembling the Sony A7C as indicated by an older Nikon pattern showcasing or camera design without an electronic viewfinder or EVF. However, it's important to note that the pattern primarily focused on the camera mount rather than the camera itself. The Z4 is expected to prioritize all lightweight and cost-effective approach by bypassing in-body image stabilization. In addition to it, Nikon is rumored to disclose two new compact FX lens is equipped with vibration reduction. The 16-24mm f-stop 4x6.3 VR and the 2040-105mm f-stop is 4x7.1 VR. While some might need of another Z product, others argue that the existing Z5 sufficiently catered to the market segment below the Z6 or Z7. Nikon is also considering the approach to frames per second with the introduction of an exceptional 4K camera capable of capturing up to 1000 FPS. Now historically, Nikon has never focused on high frame rates, but that's all changing soon. This groundbreaking camera will feature or cutting-edge stack CMOS image sensor, boasting what Nikon proudly calls the world's highest levels of sensor performance. The sensor utilizes advanced wafer-level wire connection technology, and its pixel size measures a remarkable 2.7 micrometers. With an impressive pixel count of approximately 17.8 megapixels, this sensor will enable 4K into 4K high-resolution imaging at a huge 1000 FPS, accompanied by a 110dB high dynamic range. It's worth noting that this is mainly intended for industrial applications rather than consumer usage, but hopefully someday we'll get to see the implementations in the user and models just like Panasonic and Sony. Other than these, Nikon is currently in the testing phase of multiple Z-mount camera models, and there's been significant speculation regarding their specific features. It appears that one of these models is undoubtedly the highly anticipated successor of the Z9, which is expected to feature or 60-megapixel sensor and or 16-bit analog-to-digital converter. The next one will have all lower megapixel count, focusing mainly on sports photography. Despite the reduced resolution, it will show the same old high-quality 5.76-megapixel viewfinder with a rapid 120Hz refresh rate. Also, this model will excel in capturing first action moments with a significantly higher frame rate, surpassing the performance of Nikon's reputed D6 camera. And another one was rumored to feature a 46 megapixel sensor and a commendable 20 FPS shooting speed, which we already know is the new Nikon Z8. So, there's the higher chance for new Z cameras to be released within a short span of time. As Nikon continues its testing and development process, the camera community including professionals and camera enthusiasts alike is filled with anticipation for the upcoming Nikon products and eagerly awaits what the manufacturer has in store for them. So are you excited about the Nikon's upcoming lineup? Share any thoughts in the comments section down below and consider subscribing for more content like this and as always thanks for watching.